is just a robbery. Hey, what's up? What's happening? What's going on? It's your favorite YouTube person ever, J4 TV. Playing some more Grand Theft Auto 5. And should be a good fun time, so. I took a quick break to try to figure out where the fuck I wanted to go, and then I'm just gonna end it out at the end of whatever I had recorded for the previous session. While well, I was trying to figure out whatever the place was for the reprobate, the, mi the map that they provided on... that I could find really threw me off because it just was like... it looked different from what I was looking for on the map in the game, so... I eventually found where... and it's actually out near where I was looking to go. So that's that's good, I suppose. Kind of. After I do this mission, then I can do the next one. And Miss me. you know, could always definitely use the extra mission fire. I don't know if I said it, hopefully I didn't. Hopefully you do happen to enjoy this session enough to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Support, always much appreciated. Especially if the support helps cover the earnings that I lost by taking VTO for the day. That would be great. Like, I definitely wouldn't mind bto in at all. Oh, I'm gonna come home and just... ...that I didn't earn at my day job today. Because this is more enjoyable than my day job. But also, like, thinking about it... Actually, even if I did get to do this full time... Almost might not be entirely a bad idea to try to have some just plain ass basic job be something more enjoyable than this shit. What I would actually like to do, I'd like to get into involved in anti poverty work. Right now, without relocating, I don't see that happening though. Um. But hopefully this fucker should be up here. Said said he'd probably be out here with some friends. I might have to just kill all of them. I don't want to kill anybody. If I don't have to. But it shows that he. I thought I turned off music. I don't want to switch. It shows that he might be up. Maybe. Alright, where are you at, sir? I gotta take you back. We're right here? Oh, let's see where they're at. I'm just gonna come over here and apprehend you with I'm just gonna walk up casually hopefully they don't run until I do anything don't you move you're coming with me there we am I killing them no I'm not I'm, I'm stunning them there we go. Give it up. It ain't happening. Who? Who? Oh. He did make a run for it. Okay. Not dead, so that's good. Wonder how long they stay stunned though. The more you run, the worse it gets. 
I do I really gotta come over there and catch up to you? you I'll think about it intensely. There we go. You need that again? Ah, there's a good boy. He's not dead, is he? Come on, you gotta get up. Okay, I was hoping I didn't kill him. I'm sure there's a way to kill him, but I really don't want to test that out. I thought I got everybody. I didn't realize where he was, and I thought I got everybody, but... You gonna come, or do I need to stun you again, repeatedly? Come here. Keep walking like that. I'm gonna make you hold my nuts and just carry my nuts all the way back to come here. Okay. You know, there was actually some stuff in the previous session I wanted to talk about, but then I didn't really get a chance to talk about it. Okay, so when Michael tattooed a penis on that guy's chest, Laszlo's chest, it makes me... It, it, I'm not sure if interesting or curious. That's maybe a little too optimistic, That's but... Too using it in our culture, like, heterosexuality is, you know, is the norm. Patriarchy, hetero, you know. And, you know, also homophobia is, like, yeah. natural. However, like... Some of the most homophobic men that make homophobic jokes and, um, you know, also, it's also very likely and, and has been studied that some of the most homophobic people are doing it to compensate the fact, to cover up the fact that they have homosexual feelings. And many of these homophobic, heteronormative men will draw penises on things. Just like random, like it's easy to draw. I understand. They'll just like randomly draw penises on things. So that is kind of amusing when you think about it. Like if you are so homophobic. And you're not gay. And you just love women. Woo! Even though you probably hate Sit women. Down in here. You just like how the how women vaginas feel. Um, and you're just doing all that to compensate for the fact that you are. So it's it's amusing. Whoa! Hang on. Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips. Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well, years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, I can't complain. Self? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha, well, isn't this pleasant? I should have teased you some more just for fun. So yeah, when you think about it, it's amusing that homophobic, uh, so, as we're assumed. What do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up the batch, not even a real crime. You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I'd just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating, and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh, hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feet. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male company, huh? What'd you think? Uh-huh, uh-huh. No way. I'll take the jail time. I'm glad you're feeling optimistic about that, then. There was not supposed to be a rock there, or something that I would hit. 
second bail jumper and I already know the feller. Maybe I need to take audit of my social circle. Well, if I got to go in, who better to go in with than my old pal Trevor? Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. Ten thousand because I delivered him alive. Veil jumper delivered Larry Tepper. Good. Good. That's awesome. 